Hello, welcome to the Get to Them Wonderful Community. Just for the brief intro, you've seen you've seen how we have been able to perform some kind of unique type of uh, stab scratch. This stab scratch has really become one of the trending style of DJ mixes. So, in continuation of my last video where I talked about some basics of DJing, where a question was asked regarding setting hot cues. Understand that your hot cues are very very important. In what you do as a DJ because it determines how effective your blending is going to be what type of skill you want to introduce to your mixes whether they are scratches whether they are finger drumming or whatsoever in this case in our today's video you are going to be seeing how to perform this type of scratch look at it So as you can clearly see, just as I did it in the intro of the video, and I showed you from another different DJ that was doing it on the on the phone. So you first need to set your hot cue very well and at the tip of the starting of the song, just as I've said earlier in my other video, where you can clearly see how I showed you how you set it, identifying these key points of the beginning of the track, just as you can clearly see. To see, I give a little space, any slight adjustment into the wave. Or out of the wave might make a complete mess of this particular type of scratch so you need to pay very careful attention just as I've showed you look at it carefully you can see where I set it it's exactly at the tip of the wave if I should move it inside don't worry I'm going to do a demonstration now if I move it inside just watch you can see this is the kind of sound it gave I'm going to shift it a bit again give sufficient space I'm going to be having delay now watch you see it doesn't really flow with my finger movement if i now keep it exactly at the tip just what so you can see how everything flow everything now flow smoothly with the movement of my finger so that was on another side today we are going to be seeing now how to perform this with your hands because a lot of people might have little challenge with performing it it's one thing getting the mapping is another thing practicalizing the first i'm going to show you the mapping when you go to my virtual dj setting this is it you pick this very one that says hot cue look at it hot cue transitioning or anyone once you pick it we'll now go to our keyboard now we are going to be looking at our performance in the keyboard now first we have the first part this j is the same hot cue and this h both of them are the same thing the difference there is this H, look at it, is the normal hot cue that you know. Just that when you click it, it starts the song and allow it to flow. But in this case, this one perform it normal. Then this one in this case chopped off a part of the hot cue. That means it chops off the remaining part as soon as you leave the your finger. That means you only hear the volume when your hand is press down on the key just as i've said in my understanding virtual dj map look at it you see the faster i leave my finger the is quicker it mute off the remaining part of the sound you see it's actually playing but it starts the song once i take my finger down and return this back look at it if i want it to be fast and for this particular case as i talked about the basis you first need to start it on the slow motion this is it can see as i increase the pace you can see how this fine tuning the entire process now a combination of this h and this j will give you another thing look at it that is on the slow part then by the time i advance the speed look at it that means one one two 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 one two two two, one, two, two, two. Just practice it this way. One, two, two, two. 
one two 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 one one two 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 one two 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 that means when i take this one i take this one then i take this one then i take this one two times one two one two 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 one two one two 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 that is why here Taran tan 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 Taran tan 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 Taran tan 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 Taran tan 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 Taran tan 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 So the last finger that will do the job for you is this last one so that when it starts the song it allows the song to play This one takes care of giving you a vibe of the beat This is it This is it you can see it but if I do it the reverse order it gives a drop just like a small tap of the stop scratch then you release but if you start with this one and you end with this one it means this one will start it and it will bring out the chop of the sound and you know here look at it but if i should start with this one and i end with this one look at it so the blending comes in this way one two one two one two first practice this way then you will now advance it one two 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 one two 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 so you get to build it gradually one two one two one two one Then by the time you perfect this, the next stage, possibly in my subsequent video, I'm going to be talking about. Sometimes you see you transition with hot cues. You can actually pick a part of the song as the song is playing. You will now fine tune it into the incoming song. I'm going to be fine tuning this mapping, and I'm going to work on it, and I will make it available very soon. So you need to pay attention, and if you are not subscribe, subscribe, and if you are just coming across the channel, please keep it there so that you don't miss out the next mapping that will be coming up. In this case, there are situations where a song is playing and you want to pick a particular part of the song fine tune it into the incoming song i've seen a lot of djs done it recently this is how you do it this case in this case i want to play a particular song that is coming that might not really go exactly like this one maybe based on the vibe of the song this is it Especially for those who are familiar with the type of post melon kind of song and a host of foreign DJs that go with this, you see they have some particular kind of vibe. So you want to pick a particular element of the song and play around with it to flow with the incoming song. Sometimes the snare, sometimes the beat or any particular element in the song or sometimes the phrases of the song. So that is how you do this. So in this case we have our hot Q1 and this is hot Q2. Hot Q1, hot Q2. These, things, these two keys are the same. The only difference is this is hot Q1 and this is hot Q2. They are the same. They perform a chop kind of hot Q1 while this one performs the normal kind of hot Q. If you want to combine it in this case, look at it. So you can see I just turned the entire sound into something else. I just created a completely new vibe from the existing vibe that is playing. So don't forget to keep a date as I continue to bring more. Let's continue to enjoy it as we go.
Bringing you, bringing you the hottest mixtapes in town. <laughs> 